Yeah, hi friends. In this video, I would like to explain more in detail about the depreciation methods. So, the depreciation methods for any organization we need to follow as for the accounting standard. So, what is the accounting standard? Is the accounting standard which is applicable for uh, depreciation is IAS 16. So and um, this is actually a straight line method or a reducing balance or a declining method it can be called as a declining method and um, then the last one is a units of production method so in this scenario i'm going to cover um, two one is a straight line and reducing and the next sessions uh, i am going to cover production unit sum of digits and indexing yeah so this will be advanced topic and maybe I will cover as a basic topic for the production units but sum of digits and indexing will be considered either uh, intermediate or advanced topics. Yeah. So um, the basic uh, depreciation calculation will be done by the system automatically based on the depreciation key. So what is the straight line method depreciation? So let's say if you have an asset which actually you bought for let's say 800,000 yeah so then the at the end of the useful life and uh, the asset residual value maybe you can sell or you can keep in the books as a 50,000 as a residual value and um, I just put a production units uh, because uh, this uh, asset can some generate some uh, um, uh, revenues by using these uh, assets so we call revenue in the sense economic benefit so it's a good terminology as per accounting standard so there should be some economic benefit for any asset so then only it will be called as a fixed asset and then we start depreciating by gaining those economic benefit yeah so here if you see um, this asset is bought for 800,000 so residual value is 50,000 so when I minus it you can see is 50,000 is the cost so where the depreciation should be calculated for five years so if you see you can see five years yeah so now if you see this is I just put as a cost all the all over the five years and uh, you can see the per year there is no change in the case of straight line it will be same across a year so now when it comes to uh, SAP the depreciation will be posted monthly so it will be per month now when it comes to accumulated depreciation so this will be equal to the first year so then it will be first year plus second year so then again second and first second and third and again first second third four and again all this so you have accumulated depreciation so when you're reporting as for the accounting standard you need to report as a cost sorry and 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 uh, also let's say the 750k which is accumulated depreciation so you will be showing a 50,000 as a residual value in the books okay so this is called a straight line method so now when it comes to the residual or reducing balance method so the reducing balance method is nothing but a declining or diminishing balance so when it comes to this so let's say we assume that it's a 50 percent so now when you see the calculating the depreciation it's cost by this percentage of 50,000 so here so it will be done until end of this so now actually it reached a residual value right so if you see this already reached the residual value so now the system should stop depreciating the asset 
So now let's uh, go into the system in the next session and now we'll see how this depreciation will be calculated um, for each asset. So I'll take these assets. So asset for this uh, red, reducing balance is 3013 and for straight line is 1007. Yeah, let's see now how to um, how the system is going to show you um, and, and I'm going to uh, show in the system. Thank you guys.